Christine again with the Sustainable Australia Fund, and we are going to discuss how environmental upgrade financing can benefit owner occupiers, tenants, and landlords. So the owner occupier is our first type of entity, and this type of repayment is easy, predictable repayments uh, each council quarter. So that means you'll be making four payments a year at the same time that you're making your rates repayments as well, too. So we reprice the loan every five years. So depending on how long you go with the term, it will get repriced every five years until eventually it drops off on the rates bill. Also, too, it, it ensures that you can get longer terms so you're much more cash flow positive. Our terms are anywhere from four up to 20 years. So you can go ahead and select whatever term you like that is associated with the lifetime of the product that you are going to install for the upgrade. You own the upgrade from day one. So uh, no one else is going to take ownership of that upgrade. That is for you and for the building. The ability to finance 100% of the upgrades, including soft costs. So if there's engineering costs, there's permits, there's uh, removal of items, or you have to do even upgrades like roofing upgrades to go ahead and accommodate the solar system, that could all be added into the environmental upgrade agreement. Also too, you have the ability to reportion or portion the repayments to tenants. So if you occupy the building, but you also lend out a part of your building to tenants and they want to also get some of the savings, you can go ahead and apportion some of the repayment over to the tenants as well too. We have the paperwork to assist you in getting that accomplished. Tenant benefits. It enables tenants to pursue mid-lease upgrades rather than waiting to the end of the lease. So one of the biggest questions that we get here is, uh, do I have to renegotiate the lease? You don't. We have the paperwork for the landlord and for the tenant to go ahead and fill out that the tenant will be making the repayments. And this bolts onto the existing lease right now. The tenant is going to receive the cash flow benefit, which typically we would like to see that it benefits more than what the repayments are going to be. So they're putting money back into their pocket. This is also considered an outgoing. It can be considered an outgoing since this is a charge on the property, just like the rates are a charge on the property. So this is an opportunity to go ahead and have the tenant modernize the building so that way it suits their purposes and increases their cash flow. So what this does is that it makes the business more successful when you're reducing your overheads and you've got more cash flow coming into the business. So hopefully they don't have to relocate at the end of the lease and they will go ahead and extend their lease with their current landlord. So the landlord benefits, the landlord owns the asset from day one. So it is always the landlord that will need to apply for the financing because it's the landlord's property and not the tenant. No requirement for upfront capital, no personal guarantees are gonna be asked of you or securities are gonna be asked of you as well. So this gives you an opportunity as a landlord as well, too, to get more significant upgrades done. Uh, we recently had a project where, you know, the tenant wanted to get the solar system and the roof really did need to be repaired anyways and would have needed to be repaired at some time in the near future. So this was an opportunity for the landlord to share the cost with the tenant. One, the landlord is paying for the roof upgrade and the tenant is paying for the solar and everyone wins at the end of the day. And what you're doing as a landlord is that you're building long-term value. You're building desirability for your tenant to want to remain and stay longer in their tenancy. So they're more apt to go ahead and renew that lease with you uh, rather than moving out. Now, you know, we do get a lot of questions from landlords. And the most common question is, is what happens if my tenant moves out at the end of the lease? Well, you will have to go ahead and probably make a few repayments, just quarterly repayments until you get a new tenant in. Uh, but think about it, you've modernized the property. And so it's gonna be much more attractive for a new tenant to go ahead and move in versus a property that has not been modernized. So it's gonna be more attractive and more than likely you can sit there and get a little bit more extra money on that lease with the new tenant as well too. So if you have any questions, please contact Sustainable Australia Fund. Thank you for joining me on this video.